Well, the word that I'm going to share with you today is the word perseverance. I really had a dream to expand our property. And have a good facility for our fish. And even our birds. and the growing of these vegetables. It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, the word that I'm going to share with you today is the word perseverance because this word is really very applicable to all of us. In whatever things that we do, we have to persevere. I am saying this because this is my principle. When I first acquired this property, I really had a dream to expand our property and have a good facility for our fish and even our birds and the growing of these vegetables. These were already my visions before. And I persevere, I do some effort, I strive hard, I do business in order to expand our property and God has answered our desire. There were so many obstacles along the way, but if we have just the firm commitment to accomplish our vision, then all the plans that we have in mind will suddenly be realized. Well, it is not realized overnight. It took me some 10 to 15 years to materialize all my plans and I'm so glad that we are now here and we have expanded our property my dream to grow my own food through this uh, lettuce farming and also producing some quail eggs in the future and we will make some cottages and maybe a big fish pan of this Japanese koi that makes this place so adorable and uh, if you are just here maybe in the future this is one of the spots here that you could visit the Dexter's World Farm. That's my desire. And please allow me to just tell you something about what we have done here in this uh, area. Actually, this is a 400 square meters uh, lot located beside the house. And we already have made some fencing. We used the galvanized sheets and the iron post to be able to have a temporary fence. Well, maybe you will ask, Dexter, why did you not make the fence concrete? This is my vision that I can still acquire neighboring properties. Maybe somewhere it's vacant. Maybe we can also save some money to be able to buy another lot right here adjacent. And uh, this is my principle, as what I have told you, to be really positive about things. And it's my desire to expand this property also by means of doing business. We will save money. And you will see that we already have here made some improvements. We have plants right here, everywhere. We have so many plants and 
Don't you know that these plants had been grown already for the past uh, 10 years? Because it's my desire that I can use these plants to develop a property, to beautify the property, and my desire had already been paid off. Because before we just grow these plants and I believe that it can be useful in the future and now it's happening. So allow me to just tour you to the lettuce farm. Actually, I am so thankful with uh, Julius Carl because he came over and uh, fixed everything for me to establish a good greenhouse. And I will let you see right here. By the way, it's a typhoon month here. We have a big typhoon disturbing us, but we can still go on with our project. So guys, this is now the outcome of our project with Carl Julius and you will see that the lettuces are already very alive. They have grown fast. They have recovered within just a matter of three days. And I'm so glad because the NFT system is really doing well. And let me tell you that we have a drum right there, the water source. And this water is mixed with the nutrient solutions. And then by using the submersible pump, we lift the water over here and then you will see that it's dripping down under and this will now provide the food for our lettuces and this system is called NFT and you will see that this uh, lettuce have leaves already you <laughs> see this one I'm so happy with this and maybe we can extend this one because uh, it's not going to cost us more capital you will just invest one time and then you will see your lettuces growing and then the investment will be used for another cycle of plantation and that's it. And uh, you will just wait and harvest and sell your crops. That entails also a good business, good income. So this is an encouragement that if you don't have that much capital, maybe you can engage also in lettuce farming. And this is what is happening right now. We are already set to dream big, big business for this project. And you will see right there that we have uh, already fixed the drainage system. This is the drainage system. The water will pass through here and the water will no longer spill over right here. So our plants are secured. And what I have in mind is actually to enclose this one including the fish pond that we have just right there and then we will release some birds this will be converted into a big aviary we can grow our parakeets and even african lovebirds with the big space they can just eat right here vegetables and they can groom around and we will make this in the future the natural sanctuary of our birds and that's going to be a very beautiful aviary and that's what i am thinking about This area is our canal actually and the water up there will drip down over here. That's why we made an effort to cover this one with concrete hollow blocks. I'm thinking about transferring our rabbits right here. This is my initial plan because rabbits cannot go hand in hand with the chickens. A small rabbit tree could be suited right here. Maybe over there we will make a big aquarium where we can see monster fish right there. 
we will just put roofings and the catfish will be placed right there and this is gonna be an exciting thing that people can just go here and feed our animals the rabbits they can also learn from our lettuce farm and they can also learn from our kois and many others so this is my dream and i hope this can be materialized for the next year 2022 And you guys can see the fish tank that we have here. It's filled with beautiful fish. You can imagine if we can put some Nipa hat right here and our visitors could just take a look at this uh, beautiful koi, they can feed it. This is gonna be my dream. And I would like to invite you guys if you can come over Maybe in the next couple of months, we can realize this one. And also the breeding of our Japanese koi had been so great. It was very successful that we have produced thousands of these babies. I will let you see the babies in our hatchery area. We will proceed to the house of my friend Michael, where we use or utilize as our hatchery for our Japanese koi. So finally, we were able to hatch our baby koi and I'm so happy with the result because we hatched more than 70%. And the big female koi breeder can hatch more than 50,000. So you can just imagine if we can hatch 70% of the 50,000, that's gonna be a massive of these uh, babies. And you will see that there are so many babies. And just allow me to repeat once more our tips on how to hatch your Japanese koi of course the first thing is the spawning tank very important and your water pH must be between 6 to 7 and you will see that the space is so big this has the measurement of 4 meters by 15 meters and you will see that the depthness of the water is just around 8 inches because the Japanese koi babies would like to enjoy the warm temperature and if you will put some deep water then the water is really cold and this will not good for the baby koi and this is the ideal spawning tank for the Japanese koi because if you will allow your koi to spawn in a small tank then the chances are the fertility will be affected so this is actually our method and I don't know with your method maybe you will adapt the artificial system that could be alright because there is no hard and fast rule here you can adapt so many systems or techniques that would uh, work for you but in our case we normally put some shade in the spawning tank and the half of it is an open space because sunlight is really very important for the baby koi and you will see that the water is green and you will also see that there are some algae that are developing here and this is the first food for our baby koi and if you are in the area where you don't have dapnya of course you can still manage to hatch your koi if you are going to prepare a spawning tank like this and another thing is the feeding of the babies well you will not feed immediately your babies after hatch because their first food would be their egg yolk. You will only feed the babies after five days, reckon from the time that they were hatched. We are actually feeding our Japanese koi with very tiny dapnya. As what I have said, if you're in an area where you cannot find dapnya, then you will just powder this uh, wheat germ. That is very important because this wheat germ is already a complete meal for the babies. You have to powder it we're anticipating to grow this Japanese koi babies and after two weeks that's the time that we will harvest them and we will put them in the mud pond we will wait for another three to four months before we're gonna harvest 
depending upon the size of your Japanese koi and then the business starts because we can get some big koi's and sell that in our pet store so these are the cycle of our business as what I have always mentioned that in breeding this tropical fish we can also earn a good income we are breeding this betta fish we are breeding this goldfish even guppies and this is what makes our business so successful I'm very proud to say about that and shout out to all fish keepers fish enthusiasts fish lovers I know that you can relate what I'm talking about so we have a clear vision and the manifestations of our actions are actually inspired by the vision that we have in mind to succeed and we became consistent because of the clarity of the visions that we have so these are all the things that we can share i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed yet to this channel may i humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every three to five days only here at dexter's world